What's up everybody, it's your boy Marsman here, and GTA 6 is finally here. With the overall trailer of GTA 6 finally being released, actually leaked a few days ago, we actually have some insight on the overall game and some possible aspects that the game could be on. What really impressed me was the fact that just the thought about the GTA trailer releasing has already shown to be breaking YouTube records for views. Legit, I never thought that it would be possible. After just one full day, the trailer for GTA has reached 90 million views with 8.3 million likes, which broke a Guinness World Record. With the trailer officially out, we now have to speculate on what's going on in the game, and I want to give my overall feelings about what I see and what I predict for the story going forward. Is GTA 6 going to continue breaking records? How do we think the game will play overall, and do you think it can match the level of previous GTA games? Let's shake some ass, go hunt some gators, and jump right into this. Now, just to get us really in the mood or mindset about this trailer, we have to think about what I liked overall. Right off the bat, the idea that we have a dueling perspective between this new main character, Lucia, who has obviously been rumored this entire time, which a lot of people were either one, taken off guard that we have our first female protagonist, in GTA, or we're actually reading all the news reports and rumors that this was kind of confirmed years ago. Alongside her partner, which a lot of people are speculating on the name, but her partner's name is supposedly Jason. And I think right off the bat, having this trailer centered around these two characters is a great thing because we've seen in many GTA games before that you have kind of a, a multiple characters involved within a story and you usually like kind of switch off based on whatever mission you're joining up. And I feel like this kind of core two characters is going to be centered around the entire game and i really enjoy the idea that you have a kind of a maybe start of a crew or it's really just like a bonnie and clyde type of story because at the end of the day i feel like this overall theme of what the trailer was trying to give was this idea of trust trust being the biggest theme and even ends with like the only way that we can accomplish or we can win or we can survive is with each other and trust is what builds that and i feel like that theme is going to kind of center the entire game whether it's going to be an issue between lucia and her partner or they might have to trust other people whatever it's going to be is that that is going to be the centerpiece of this and it's kind of like seen in multiple gta or rockstar games with red dead redemption and even gta 5 i feel like that's always kind of been the centerpiece of these stories and then the fact that we jump into miami or vice city is finally back and vice city looks so damn good it's it's supposedly bigger than any other game that rockstar has ever developed and it looks way different from the last time we've seen it now obviously the last time we played in vice city was a very very long time ago and the graphics are completely different but even just looking at the city itself because of the fact that the original vice city game was based in the 1980s during the drug wars that were going on and now looking at it as in today the city of even just thinking about miami has changed tremendously and based on the trailer we think about the idea of a massive scaled game and rockstar said this is their largest project they've ever worked on in their history of games and even if that might be true i wonder how big this game will be in comparing it to a lot of other massive gta games like five and and even rockstar games like red dead redemption 2. i think it'll be probably closer to red dead in its scale of how much different areas you're going to see but based on what we saw in the trailer you're going to be seeing swamps you're going to be seeing clubs you're going to be seeing street racing you'll be along the beaches and, and honestly that is a great thing to have in a video game because it doesn't just feel like you're only in one particular atmosphere you're in multiple different places and i feel like i can compare this to red dead 2 because even if the map is not like you're traveling across multiple states it makes you feel like you are and i think that is what gives that game a lot of push so i feel like if gta 6 is going to follow in that it's gonna really open up its scope. It's gonna open up what you can do. And, and I think that just makes the game more fun. And I think what matches with this idea of Vice City is we're bringing in all the, the Florida videos, the Florida man famous videos that bring in the, the whole character of the surrounding areas of Vice City. Because if you don't know, Florida is the place where crazy things happen. Whether it's going to be gators in pools, dude watering his garden naked, girls twerking on top of cars. I mean, it, they really have everything. Even Joker in a court case being tried i mean at the end of the day what they did in this trailer was i think really important because it sets the kind of overall atmosphere of what vice city is going to be where it's a bunch of crazy people doing crazy things and i feel like that is really what is people were expecting when thinking of florida or thinking of vice city in the surrounding areas and i think the entire trailer was kind of showing off like the the different types of social media and even real world like news videos or podcasts or even they even had TikTok in this in this trailer. I feel like, yes, GTA is outrageous with a lot of things you can do, but setting in that realism makes it feel more fun because it, it gives you that simulation of what 
it always kind of is trying to mirror in a way. And I think one of the biggest things I saw coming away from this trailer was the fact that when they had that post pre press kit or that information that it posted out, they had said that console releases will be happening first. It was going to be the Xbox Series consoles and the PlayStation 5 would be the first consoles or game places to play. I feel like this is going to be something that a lot of people are speculating or debating on because obviously there is a massive audience on PC that are itching to play this game and use mods and do a lot of really fun aspects what GTA is always known for. But to say that this is unheard of is wrong because Rockstar has done this before. Rockstar has released the PC version of GTAs at a later date because they also have to kind of set up the game to be allowed to be able to use mods because that's what PC players like to do with their game. And I feel like, yes, this is going to be a tough look for those who are dependent on just playing on PC alone. And I've already seen a lot of people online talk about that they might they might skip out on GTA, which I know they're full of it if they say that, but they are going, they're really upset that this is not releasing day one on PC. So that is kind of something I saw off the bat that if you are mainly a PC gamer, that might cause some, some issues for you. So if this game is releasing in 2025 for console, it might release in early 2026 for PC. PC, which that's a long ways away. I mean, if you really think about it, my prediction is that this is releasing in the fall of 2025, probably one going to be the biggest seller of the year. I mean, it's going to get the most hype unless they release it early 2025, which I don't think they will are because we haven't seen a single thing of gameplay. And that's kind of my biggest concern is that we haven't seen a single this trailer is all pre-rendered they didn't even tell you that this was an engine meaning that this could have just been just cutscenes that, that they made for this trailer no story attached to it we'd have no idea this is real or not as in meaning that this has any guiding to the overarching story that was going to happen as well as the fact that we don't know if this is exactly what it looks like because the trailer itself looked phenomenal as in everything looked amazing and how the cutscenes and the rendering and the people, the character, all look great. But if this is not made in engine, then we can't use this as a way to say, wow, this is gonna be the greatest looking GTA game ever. And it should be, because this is on the next gen consoles, it's developed more than a decade, really a decade since the last GTA game. And we should be seeing this top level rendering and cutscenes being made. But like I said, if this is not shown to be an engine, then this might not be what it looks like. It might be a little less as in the quality of scale of what it could be. And when it comes to my predictions, I mean, right off the bat, I said this before, the theme of this trailer was trust. And this development of this Bonnie and Clyde story where one something's going to happen. It's a love story between two people. And a lot of people predicting that Lucia, the start of the trailer is her in prison. They think that he either one, she starts like the, the game ends with her in that first cutscene talking about what happens in her life to get her here. Or two, that she starts off in prison, is on parole, and now she needs to make ends meet to, to really survive. And she needs to meet with her with her partner, which is supposedly Jason, and they need to work together to be able to make ends meet, basically. The idea that this trust issue is really what's centered around this. I have a feeling that at some point, whether it's going to be Jason, her partner betrays her and he dies in the process, or he is you know, defending her because they trust somebody else that is not part of their duo because he brings them in or something, something along those lines. Because GTA has never been a, uh, they've never strayed away from having you build a squad and then one person or some people in that squad betray you and they have to die in the process. And it's just kind of a, a, a sad ending, right? I feel like for a lot of people, whether it was GTA 5, this happened, whether it was San Andreas, whether it was Vice City, there's a lot of times where betrayal happens in these games that trust was always a part of that. And I feel like that will be kind of something I look forward to, to finding out more about. But I think this game is going to play very well when it does release because GTA games, Rockstar has never really strayed far away from their mainline game. I mean, when it comes to remasters, they are garbo sauce at it. I mean, they, they aren't really good at trying to fix games to match the level what they should be. But when they release new games, whether it's a GTA game or Red Dead, the level of play for these games and stories have been very good. So I feel like it's going to play very well. And will it match the, the level of previous GTA games? I would think it will. I have never seen a bad GTA game in my heart. I feel like Red Dead has surpassed a lot of expectations when it comes to Rockstar's development of games. Do I think that they can match that or even surpass previous GTA games? Of course they can. It's fully possible, especially when you have roughly a decade of planning and 
and developing. I mean, you could do a lot of things in a span from the last GTA to now. I think Rockstar feels the pressure because people have been waiting for a GTA to release for many years at this point. And if it doesn't release well, that could be a problem. But I would be very surprised if they laid an egg and, you know, just fell flat on their face. I'd be very surprised. What do you think about this trailer? Are you excited for GTA 6 to finally arrive? Are you unhappy that it's not releasing with PC? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys. Thank you.